so as uh, we have uh, uh, discussed uh, so these are some of the examples of continuous uh, data height area distance uh, time so now uh, we are going to do some activity on uh, this continuous variables uh, which is uh, a part of numeric uh, data type so that activity would be we will be figuring out uh, uh, what uh, various types various continuous variables from our real world data sets that's what we are going to do so i have some real world data sets and out of that we will go into the each and every uh, column and we'll find out uh, uh, which is a continuous variable uh, type uh, uh, data in that let me show that let me get into the hands on and this is what these are the real world data set and this is soccer players or most of the soccer players uh, data is there in this data set and then store details unit sales e-commerce and customer buying pattern of uh, one commerce one commerce store so let me uh, open my jupyter notebook dashboard here yeah so the migration plan to notebook 7 to learn about new features and actions so that's okay no mind at this moment it's not required so let me create a notebook editor so name i'm gonna name it as uh, data types so first one is continuous variable okay so now uh, let's import pandas SPD. So, if anybody is not comfortable with using pandas, uh, so I would request you to watch my intuitive pandas for you course. I made it very uh, simple, short, and crisp, so that uh, I have I have kept all the topics which are useful only for uh, machine learning and uh, uh, computer vision and overall uh, whatever is required for our ml projects so those kind of concepts and topics i have included in that so it would be a great help for you if you do that course and come back to this course so let me import this pandas with the alias name as pd so now what i'm gonna do is now i will read the data from our csv as a data frame so for that i'll say players is equals to pd read csv and then yeah so i'm gonna put it as uh, uh, soccer players data one dot csv and execute it as absolutely no issue the uh, tabular data the tabular the tabular data has been read by the pandas into data frame so let's check players and this is what is our data frame so if you want to check what is this type of yep this is a data frame this is pandas uh, data frame so let me execute this players and this is what is our data and 1587 rows total 1587 records uh, i think 1586 records with the column with the headers with the headers and then six columns these are our six variables six variables so now i'll call them as a variables but when we start working on machine learning projects uh, these variables will be engineered into features we call them as a feature engineering feature engineering that's okay so player sent uh, players dot shape will give you the shape so i will take uh, players dot columns and these are the uh, col these are the headers of columns okay so second name first name you know what type of you can guess what type of variable it could be then we have gender you can uh, because as we have gone through the different variable types you should uh, you you should able to 
uh, you should be able to guess what type of uh, variable it is. Then we have height in centimeters and weight in kg and country country per team. So these are our team. So these are the variables that we have. So what we're going to do is let's take uh, players and uh, let me uh, let me index uh, the columns that I require. So I'll go with the height. height in centimeter yeah and then weight in kg and this is what uh, the height in centimeter and weight in kg by looking at uh, you can find out the height uh, and weight these are uh, these are uh, a numeric variable these are numeric variable so now what I'm going to do is I will describe them. So I have described both the variables and you can see that on the screen. So this is height in centimeter. This is weight in kg. So count remains same. And mean, the mean for height is 177.45116. As you know, so we measure in centimeters that can be converted into the millimeters that can be converted into the further subdivisions uh, uh, into various fractions. Same happens with the kg, grams, okay, and milligrams. So it can keep on reducing. So standard deviation also, you can see these are all float. The type of data is float. So 11.287679 and then this is 16.009837. This is the standard deviation between the various entities inside this data record, so data set. So the min is 136 for the height. Max is 219 centimeters. So now in between this bracket, you can have any value literally any value you can have so that's the reason the mean you got is 177.451166 so with a slight change in any parameter so it can lead to any uh, any it can change lead to any value which can't be uh, guessed exactly so that's what uh, is a uh, a continuous variable it's not like one two three four five these are just discrete uh, where a rounded value or round of value but whereas in a continuous variable in between one to five you can have any number of values such as two point five four three two four five uh, till any decimal numbers to till till any decimal numbers you can have values those are called uh, a continuous variable and that's what you can see here 177.4516 and then 219 and here you can see 11.28769 and same thing happened with the weight also so these are you can have any number of values in between this min and max values so if you have any such any such feature so that is called as a continuous variable